This is Kingston Road, Logan City, a major road that crosses over what seems to be an insignificant and utterly dirty creek. Like many, I've driven to work every day over this creek for years without giving it a second thought, until one day, I decided to take a closer look and I hiked the entire creek line from start to finish. And what I discovered absolutely blew me away. This 35 km creek system proved to be one of my most interesting explorations yet, and all in my own backyard. This is the journey of Scrubby Creek. smell KFC. It smells good. See Marsden Library off to my left. Need to cross the road. Can be a busy road this one. All right. Marsden Library. Scrubby Creek is right in front of us. Here we go, we're here. The creek actually flows down this way and it ends up coming through to Gould Adams Park. Some people have, uh, from what I've seen last day, throw shopping trolleys, car tires, all that trash, they throw it into here. Sometimes in an attempt just to get rid of rubbish, other times an attempt to um, make a bridge. Fingers crossed we'll find one of those shopping trolley bridges and car tire bridges and we can make it across. So as you can see it's a beautiful um, chocolate brown colour. Like that chocolate brown. How about Brisbane River brown? Now I'm going to have a look if I can actually cross over anywhere down here and get over to this side. There's a couple of running tracks on that side, so we're going to we're going to see. I don't really feel like swimming my way across, but I do want to get across. So let's do a flyover of our route today. As this is a local adventure, I was able to run to my start point, which is behind the Marsden Park Library and Coles Shopping Centre. There, we will follow Scrubby Creek, working our way up to JJ Smith Park, which is where we finished our journey last time. From the park, I weave my way up the creek system, looking for some point where I can cross over to the other side. Here, there is only one point to get across, and that was sketchy as anything. Although Kingston Road is so close, that you can literally hear and see the bustling traffic, yet I am absolutely surrounded by the thick scrub and bushland, which gives it that whole otherworldly feel to this adventure. Nobody comes into this area, and it feels like I'm the first man to walk here ever. Of all the Scrubby Creek segments that I explore in this series, this is the shortest of them all. However, it hides a terrible and dark truth. In 2016, one of our state's most cruel and sadistic crimes took place in the very lagoon that you see upon your screen. Queensland's toolbox murders. And I'll take you to the very place where police made their gruesome discovery. I'll then head to the large Logan motorway overpass, which is where we will end today's journey. So let's head down and explore the next section of this amazing creek system in Logan City. This is the dark chapter of Scrubby Creek. So here I am over just behind Marsden uh, Library and Coles, Marsden Coles. And here I am coming out of the bushes, just looking like a weirdo. I can see someone's walking up there. I don't want to go up there. So I go, what the heck? I'll probably call the cops on me. <laughs> so I'm going to keep walking a bit more down in the bank here. 
just as I'm doing this, you know, I've been thinking a bit lately, just rethinking my sense of adventure. I was actually really inspired recently. I watched, I haven't watched too many of his videos, but my son showed me um, some guy called Bowie Miles. I saw recently from him, he did a video called The Commute. And I thought, man, that's such a interesting idea, concept. He's, think, he's talking about rethinking how you adventure. You don't have to go to all these faraway places. I don't know where he lives, but he was traveling like, uh, sorry, just hearing the sirens. This is the hood after all, the cops are here. Probably someone saw me and they <laughs> called the cops on me. No, but what I'm saying is he decided he's going to be going down this creek to get to work and it took him four days to get to work so he slept uh, he took a kayak and after day one he slept you know wherever he ended up down this long creek that finally takes him to his place of work which is some university i think what he had to say actually got me really thinking a little bit more differently just concerning adventure you know you don't have to go all these far away places mount for me it's like mount barney lamington national park and and all these places scenic cream as beautiful as they are you know we've got places here and for me scrubby creek um just kind of been thinking let's go and explore a little bit closer and have a look what's here i mean there's there's a drain you know like for crying out loud what's inside this drain probably look in here and i'll probably see someone oi hello i mean my sense of adventure might be to crawl down this drain actually it's not trust me i'm not gonna be that guy don't be that guy it's just my thoughts you know um something that i'm thinking about doing recently uh, since seeing his video that i'm thinking about is actually traveling down the entire length of scrubby creek you know you watch a youtube video then you get sort of these crazy ideas to do stuff i was looking at another youtuber and he's called walkabout with rob and this guy's a local guy i think he lives at beanley so you know my neck of the woods and he does some amazing videos where he walks for example from beanley down to the gold coast beanley to brisbane beanley to springwood and things like that and, but one thing that he did that really inspired me recently was he looked at the source of where scrubby creek starts and where it actually comes out so he looked it starts all the way at bellevue park over at i think it's regent's park area and how it connected all the way following right here he, i think he came here and all the way where it connected to uh, logan river and it just inspired me i thought wow that is so true bowie miles walkabout with rob just you know local and so it's just got me thinking anyway just uh let's check out some local places and have a look what adventures there are to be had right next door so anyway that's just a few things that have been going through my crazy head so yeah anyway share your thoughts with me what you think about that i'm gonna go and explore this drain hello before you know it something creature's gonna come running out Now that would be an adventure, crawling in that drain. Well, this they've actually boarded this one up with timber. Very interesting. So where I want to get to is across there. Can't see any bridge yet, and I honestly I'm not gonna get muddy in Scrubby Creek. Who knows what dead bodies and things are lying in here. However, I was watching this video from the guy I told you, Walkabout with Rob, and he came to a certain section and it was a bridge of shopping trolleys. Some lunatics put here from Coles just behind me. We want to walk here. Actually, look at this, there's a bit of a trail. Let's keep going. Now this is interesting. A big pool of water. Might be like a 
a fire hose um, inlet. I'm not too sure. It's obviously got a leak. So I probably might let council know about this. And it's obviously why we're paying so much in our council water rates. So I've come to Marsden, a little bit more Marsden Central. They've got a fairly newish dog park here. Uh, however, there is a trail that goes down to the right of the dog park, which should bring me to Scrubby Creek again. Okay. There is a shopping trolley. Finally, I found one. Someone's dragged a whole mirror here. God knows why. There's a syringe container. Oh, there's another shopping trolley. There we go. Two of them. Continuing on here, let's have a look what's up this slight trail. And where we've come is basically beside someone's property and more of a trail that goes there. I'm not going to continue here, I'm actually going to go around to JJ Smith Park now and it's a little bit more easier to navigate so I'll run up on the side of the road and then hook around which will bring me to Scrubby Creek again and we'll see if we can cross over, I crossed over there uh, some time ago so that's what we'll do. Okay. This is where we now loop around to our right. And we're gonna see if we can find a crossing. Quite a big open area here, isn't it? And I might show you something here. Oh, here we go. Lucky golf ball. I might show you a Bit of a vantage point from up here. So where we're looking at right now, this is the back of Bega Road. Sometimes this swells up and over and it's flooded with uh, the Scrubby Creek water. However, Almost looks good enough to walk in, dry enough. Well, that's just long grass. Okay, can't cross over anywhere here, and Jesus is sort of long, um, long ground growth here. It's just crazy. However, what you can see is a big open lagoon. Now, these don't necessarily have any names, just one of the many Scrubby Creek lagoons. A bit of a sand bank there. We're going to head down this way and I can see some logs um, in the past I've crossed over some logs we're going to work our way there but I can also see something interesting I see some tents okay nice little fire pit if anyone needs some, some jocks water pump this I mean I don't know kind of looks quite cozy you know if I ever get in trouble with the missus <laughs> you know where I'm coming interesting a couple of ducks in the water over there but also there's two swans, two um, dark grey swans up on the banks there. Quite, uh, they're elegant. There's something about swans, isn't there? Where we're going is through there. It's 
So hope you're ready for it. Okay. Oh, see one of these. I need one for home. It's like a dustpan. Let's just do it. Oh, muddy. Oh. Holy dooly. Okay. It's very, very soft here. My shoes are going to need an extra good gurney when I get back. The only reason I'm going here is so I can actually find a way across Scrubby Creek. All the ducks are getting excited. Oh, here we go. It's a footpath. But look, easy way to get down and across. And I could have saved my poor shoes from getting wet and dirty. The canal and we're going to go up and over it's obviously someone's property here their boundary the fence line but we won't cross that but we will go down here and this is what I was looking for oh yes So, I want to cross Scrubby Creek. I think this is probably, probably the way to do it. Okay, I might chest mount this now. And I can see I'm gonna have to try to jump over from that log clamber across to there. Let's see, wish me luck. I might simply just end up falling in to be honest. Must be another way. Okay, getting it. Oh. Jeez, all this just so I don't get my little booties wet today. <laughs> okay. There we go. Alrighty. Let's find our way up through this jungle and to the trail. Alright, do a bush bashing time. And here we go. Whew. Whoa. Mud. Mud everywhere here. There's some serious mud here. Go to the high side. The trail that I'm going on, it's actually behind the Marsden Shopping Centre, or rather the Marsden Library, um, that's directly to my right. And so where Scrubby Creek was, and we looked at it from behind the, the library, we looked at, um, you know, the bank on the other side of the creek. This is it, this is it. I mean, this is local for me. I live here for crying out loud. And never been down this track, never seen it before. So we're talking about rethinking our sense of adventure, my sense of adventure. You know, looking, looking at different areas that's close, nearby, I just have not explored before. I'm hearing Kingston Road straight up ahead. 
but what I'm seeing is just bush and long grass. <laughs> oh, now this is cool. Look at this tree. <laughs> oh. The tree's still alive too. Look at that. This is one of those scribbly gums. And what's fascinating here is we're literally behind like super cheap auto if you know the area. But there's all palms growing right there, like it's rainforesty. Like, you know, one time this would have all been, you know, a lot of palms growing here, I, I think. Uh, I might tackle this. I don't know how I'm going to go. I reckon I'm going to get all sloshy with my shoes, but the things we do for YouTube. <laughs> right, to my right, Scrubby Creek. To my left, a flooded canal. Directly to the bottom is sloshy, oh, geez, sloshy ground. But you know, we might get real muddy feet, muddy shoes. It can all be washed off, can't it? Kind of. But look at what we're doing. Localized adventure. I like this idea still of going this way as long as there's no snakes here because I haven't really come prepared for any snake bites today but sometimes you just gotta risk it to get the biscuit here we go there's a classic car tire it's a sign a sign of what this is a dumping ground so in all honesty like this is this is a section that nobody sees. Unless if you're into, you know, doing this kind of nonsense. No one ever comes here. No one, I mean, all the rubbish, I see a lot of rubbish here. There's bottles here and all this. All of this has been washed down, um, you know, in heavy rain periods. Washed down. Otherwise, everything here, this is all untouched no one comes here so look what i have discovered i'm the very first man to step foot here <laughs> i'm just joking but you know what i mean it's it's actually just that knowledge you're going somewhere where people just don't traverse so to celebrate Go. I've marked man was here. Here you have Coke bottles, V drink bottles, all sorts of bottles, but all this, in all honesty, has been washed up. You can see how high the water actually comes here um, when it's swollen and the water's flowing. This goes off to um, Gould Adams Park. We'll explore that next time, I think. This is something different. We'll, we'll actually go across some of the um, creeks there a little bit more intimately, a little more closely and deeper. We get all the nature lovers and reservists. Uh, we'll get them a bit angry. A swamp swamp there this now becomes from memory impassable so this is where we want to go if you need any used car tires yeah that's right so you can see scrubby creek keeps going off to the right there 
and we're running on a trail here which is on the back of Bega Road which is off to the left look at that straight ahead is Logan Motorway that's the overpass with Kingston Road there that's where we're heading towards but we'll just have a quick squizzy over down at this small inlet you see this all would get and does get uh, swollen up and over floods with uh, with water there's another massive lagoon straight up overhead there we're running beside it I'll just head up out of here wow some massive septic system some big pipe don't I So it's like some kind of a memorial for this young girl. Locked inside and left to die, Juliana Triscaru and Corey Breton killed in the most callous way. Each victim died in a cold, watery grave. Such conduct is unspeakable evil. A macabre end to a savage crime. A crane swings a tradie's toolbox from the water. It became a makeshift coffin. For two people, officers allege were killed in cold blood. We do fear that the box will contain the, uh, the bodies of the two missing persons. Police claim the pair allegedly had their mouths gaffer taped closed, were bashed, stuffed in the toolbox, where Breton was allegedly stabbed in the leg. Then police say the toolbox was placed on the back of this ute, driven to the dam where the box was opened and Breton and Triscaru allegedly shot in the head. Holes were allegedly drilled in the toolbox so it would sink. Then it was dumped. Nine people have now been charged over the deaths. All have been convicted for their roles. It's just a shame this is actually a memorial for this young girl that this place is just pure filth. Okay, let's get to the overpass. As you can see, we're directly underneath the Logan motorway. Scrubby Creek continues down here from that lagoon where that memorial was overlooking. Continues down. Look at that. Right in the middle of the two bridges. That's pretty cool. Scrubby Creek. This, eh? Yeah, I'm gonna class that as not drinkable compared to the brooks running at Lamington National Park. <laughs> If you're thirsty, I think you're better off dying of thirst. Mardi. 
so yeah this has been quite the adventure uh, I know it's an adventure because I actually lost my sunglasses when I was crossing Scrubby Creek you know way back when but yeah that's a small price to pay when you're going to explore glorious terrains like this uh, one last look at Scrubby Creek here this is as it meanders all the way as it connects to Gould Adams Park so I'm pretty much going to leave it here I hope you enjoyed this slight trail run. I've only done just close to 10 k's. I've probably got another four or five before I get back home, but that's a, that's a good little adventure here. Local adventure exploring Scrubby Creek. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time.